Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create a simple single layer water surface. I already have a couple of tutorials on how you can create different versions of water for your Unreal Engine level, however this will approach it from the material perspective and tell you, show you, teach you how you can create it and get it in your level on a really basic and simple kind of shape and form so it's not going to be a very complex or super realistic water however it will be a quick and easy water that you can create as a material or as many already call it a shader so first of all I'm going to create I'm going to right click and create a new material that I'm going to call water now it only needs to load as it did now and here it is so this is going to be my simple single layer water material and i'm going to double click on it to open the material editor from here on out i'm first of all going to add the most important node which is single layer water material that will then allow me to do everything else so for starts i'm going to keep the blend mode at opaque but for the shading model I'm going to add single layer water. Now we need the node which we'll find under again single layer water material output. Here it is. Now don't get confused about this. You don't connect it with anything in the base node of the material or the primary node that you already have. Instead we're going to impact or influence several of these and we're going to add a single color to the absorption coefficients and this is a physics thing uh, I don't get it completely either but let's say that basically water is blue because the molecules of water absorb a part of the specter that is basically red and reflect the part of the specter that is blue and we see it as bluish and it's a again a physics thing I don't want to get into it really heavily instead I'm just going to show you the basic 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 stuff that you can do to create this water like material so we need to get that base color or primary color or whatever you want to call it to the absorption co coefficients and then we're going to influence these elements later on so first of all I'm going to add a vector 3 node constant 3 vector I'm sorry here it is and I'm going to set it to red so we can modify it just a teeny bit and make it really bright red this I'm going to connect to the again absorption coefficients and that will be in lack of better term kind of your color that will get absorbed into the material while the rest of it will get reflected Unreal Engine functions and tries to function as something that is completely based on real life physics besides that we need a couple of vector not vector but constant node And here it is so we have our base constant node which we're going to connect here but we're going to modify it to the value of 0 0.5 you can of course and should of course experiment with all of these values but I'm going to simply start with this and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it again copy and paste and first we need to connect this to base color the first one the second one we are going to connect to the opacity levels and the last one we are going to connect to refraction so these three should allow this single layer water material to get more realistic let's call it that and give it that sense and feel of water now all we have to do is to save all and that is going to take a bit of time hopefully it's going to load and get the same elements 
ready. And again, let's go for save. Again, it's going to take a bit of time because the Unreal Engine is right now compiling everything. This should, this black square should turn red as we have it set up. And this will then go to absorption coefficients and get modified by these base color, opacity and refraction. All of them together should produce a bluish translucent transparent material that will be in a more experienced hands the first step towards creating realistic water that includes ripples and whatnot my option isn't that advanced isn't that good so i'm simply going to create something that should look water like at least in terms of color and transparency or reflectiveness and absorption let's call it that which is again an ambitious way to call it but here we have it and you can see it it's it's odd but when we are going to we're going to apply it in the level you'll see what i mean i'm going to go back to my first person template and i'm going to add this material to this static mesh to see to show you how it looks in the level itself so right now it's not that great but I mean it's not going to be great anyway but where we going to try it out I'm going to also move this behind it so you can get that better sense of that distortion that water creates so let's try it out and see how it looks in the game itself and here we have it and here is that water material as you can see it has a lot of weird reflectiveness to it it's grayish here because now it's picking up this background color however when you go up towards the sky you can see it's a lot bluer and you can see how it reflects or refracts the red really bright red color behind it and that is your basic water material, single layer water material. It's not great, it's not something that you could use in a level. So let me show you, for example, if I would to use a plane and then add water to it, it would still look pretty weird. You see, because it reflects that gray surface behind it, unlike this, which reflects even the sky and everything else. and. It's not very water-like, let's call it that, but using the same principles, you can add additional loads here, experiment with all of these, the opacity and refraction, experiment with the base color for the single layer water material, and still get pretty cool results. Of course, the, these will need to get the few, full, e, true shader, get things, things will be needed, like additional textures that move about to create that ripple effect and whatnot however this is your first step and this is how you use your single layer water material node which again will be very useful for you i'm betting or at least i'm hoping that's all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here hopefully you found it interesting hopefully you found it educational if you did please consider supporting me on patreon you can buy my books on amazon you can send me money through paypal through crypto there is a bunch of stuff that you can use to support me and help me keep making these videos. But most importantly is the cheapest and easiest one. Simply subscribe to my channel, be here for my new videos, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or want to leave a comment. And we can see each other on my next Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video in precisely 7 days from now. So next Monday, a new Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video will be ready, hopefully. That's all for me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in precisely seven days from now. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye-bye.